All right, so we are here today to show you really quickly how to set up these rotors and these fans because I've been asked several times to do so. So let's start off here. We're just going to grab a EM32S standard rotor and we are just going to grab one because we're going to configure this thing real quickly. We're just going to snap it on here and then we're going to set these attach nodes to octo. Now we're going to go from here, we're going to grab our cows actually, we're going to grab two of these and that should be enough. And then we're going to jump over to aerodynamics and we are then going to grab some of these ducted fan blades. I prefer these over these propeller blades because you get more power in a more condensed area. So let's go ahead and press R and then X so this way we can set up these fan blades. And just like that. Uh, then we can go here and we can grab our nose cone and let's switch back here and that's going to cap that off. So I like to come out with these already deployed so I'm going to pre-deploy them. We need to grab one more of these so let's go ahead and grab this rotor. Let's go to hold alt click on that. And now we're going to snap this other one to here. We're not doing them in mirror mode because we need to invert one or the other. And sometimes this doesn't, it's not going to work well when it comes to your propeller blades. So let's go ahead and go to here and we are going to invert this one on these propeller blades. We're just going to invert it and we're also going to invert our rotor. We're doing this because we need it to be counter so that way we don't have to deal with torque. They're going to spin towards each other and cancel out the torque that would be generated. So that is now set up and ready to go. Next thing we need to do is get our cow units configured here. So let's go ahead and make this a little pretty and sink this down a little bit. And let's go ahead and get to work on these. Let's go ahead and go to actions right click on this one open editor and we're going to drag the first one over to here and we're going to do the same thing over to this side open editor it's easier to edit it in this window so here we can name this one blade pitch and here we're going to name this one rpm torque so you can separate your RPMs and your torque from your blade pitch and you will be able to get some pretty fantastic spot on uh, instance controlled. So say in, for instance you go to EVE, you're going to need more torque. So you'd be able to set your torque separately from your RPM and set it higher and your RPMs then could you don't have to max out your RPMs on EVE. Now if you are on Lathe or Duna, you want your RPMs high, but you don't need a lot of torque because the atmosphere is thinner. So don't worry so much about it, you can get away with it there as well. So let's go ahead and get these configured. First let's go for our blades since they are easier to get to. And let's go to blade pitch, deploy angle, deploy angle. Notice I selected it from here under controllers, which is where you would want to do this for the f initial uh, configuration. But we're going to set this first one to 90, and we're actually going to set this one, since it's going horizontal, to 65. And now we can go ahead and copy this, paste that out there. I say 65 because the max angle we're going to want to deploy these two is going to be 65. That's when you will start to notice the effects actually degrade and you'll start to slow down, which is not what you want. So let's go to RPM Torque and we are now going to click on our rotors. Get a little angle here. And then we're going to click on RPM, RPM, Torque, Torque. This is just so everything is a little easier to manage. So you go here, end of your RPMs, ramp it all the way up. And then we have this copy paste. We're just going to copy this value, paste it here. And here we are just going to go for our torque to the value of 8. And the value of 8, we're going to keep a steady 8 the entire way through. Once again, copy that, paste it here. So if we wanted to actually map this over to our main throttle, 
let's just make sure this is what we think it is it's our blade pitch so let's go ahead and click on that so it's highlighted and then we'll go over to main throttle here and then we select play position now as we throttle up and down it is going to go up and down for our blade pitch which is going to accelerate us forward at better velocities and as we slow it back down it's going to drag us back down to zero so you don't have to worry so much about air brakes so let's go ahead and take this bird out for a flight after I add on the last very important thing, which are these fuel cells. All right, so here we are ready to fly. So let's go ahead and we're gonna bring up our fuel cells. So we have electric charge being generated. And we're just gonna drag our RPM torque over here and we're just gonna throttle it all the way up. And then we can just get rid of that. We really don't need to see it. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring out our aerodynamics overlay so you can see how this is actually working. Now everything is spinning because as we did here, we have our RPMs and our torque that have a value in the positives at the same time. So let's go ahead and close that out and let's go ahead and throttle up and that's gonna increase the angle on our blade pitch. You'll see the yellow areas start to generate more and more. And as we go to full, it'll be this little chaotic angle here. But that's exactly what we're looking for right now. And once we are ready to lift, you see right here we have a bit of... It's dragging a bit, but we are almost ready to lift off. I nosed that wheel down a little too far. And are we going to hit the wheel? Oh, it was very close to that light. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull that back up. And you'll see here, now we have a nice little pull going on here, dragging us forward. Uh, you can also do this for pushers. You just have to reverse either the fan blades or just the uh, fan blades or the rotor itself, not both. And you see the purple area is generating thrust in that direction. So this is what you can get if you do the rotors and the blades properly. And you can have a nice little design. This is going to be pretty simple. The only thing that's really going to change is going to be the sets for settings for the blade pitch. So we're going to grab our light duty rotor. Once again, we're just going to grab one. We're going to put it right here and we're going to configure this real quick to octo. And then we are going to go and grab our ducted fan blades. Once again, our X so we can go and set these up for radial. And let's go ahead and deploy these. We're going to grab also our tiny nose cone and slap that on there. So that should give you this here. Now we want these to go into here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to make a duplicate of it and set it here. We're going to flip this upwards and we're going to put this in to this shroud. Now for this one, we are actually going to flip it upright. But before we put this in here, we are going to change this. We're going to invert and we're going to invert here as well. All right, so now we can go ahead and snap this one in and it's in place. Now, what's really important for vertical flight is that these are centered directly on your center of mass. So let's go ahead and take a look at our center of mass and how far off we are. So let's go ahead and gently offset these hold down shift while you're offsetting to save you some headaches and just shift these forward until it is dead center on your center of mass and it should look kind of like this once you have that you should be okay and ready to go so let's get this configured for flight so what we need to do now is go to actions and we are going to once again open our editors and this time they're on the sides here. So we're gonna open editor number two. And this one again is gonna be blade pitch. And we're gonna come over to here to RPM torque. 
So once again, easiest one to get to, blade pitch. Let's go ahead and grab our blades. And now we're gonna set this to deploy angle. This one is going to be 90. This one this time is going to be 85 instead of 65 because we are going straight up. And we're gonna copy and paste this over to here. It is now ready to go. So now we just need to do our RPM torque. So once again, hold Alt, grab both of these, and then we're gonna go over to RPM torque. Set this to RPM, RPM, torque, and torque. Come here, set that all the way up, copy, paste. And here, once again, since we're on Kerbin, we can get away with eight. And eight is going to be one, it's not the lowest you can get, but it's one of the lower ones you can get with really good control for the way that I fly. So it is my preferred torque setting. And it is really easy on your RTG that we're using to power this beast. All right, so we are now set. Everything looks good there. So what we need to do is now map our blade pitch over to our throttle. Once again, go to main throttle, click here, play position. So we are ready to go, almost. What we didn't do is very important. Let's go to crew and note where our current center of mass is. If you add a crew into a command seat, it shifts everything towards the Kerbal. So now we need to actually go here and we need to now offset this Kerbal, uh, offset for the Kerbal weight. So let's go ahead and grab this here. Once again, hold down shift and let's slide this forward some. So we are offsetting for our Kerbal mass. Kerbals are not light. And there you go, you should be ready to rock. All right, so we're here with our Kerbal and our very odd looking little vertical craft. Go ahead, hit caps lock, and we're gonna to go to our RPM torque. And this time we don't have to zero out. Normally if you don't set your blade pitch to your uh, to your throttle, what you would have to do is zero this out, make sure this is zeroed out. But since we are mapped to our main throttle, you see here it snaps back because it's being controlled by our throttle. So it is auto zeroing, zeroing itself out. Let's go ahead and kick up our RPM torque. Everything should now begin to spin. We're going to actually keep this out because we want to set this so that we are gently rising up. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of, of throttle until we start to lift off the ground and then drop it back down. So we're doing this because we want to find where our happy medium is. So once you find where you, your max throttle can be before you start skyrocketing upwards, you can then go to your RPM torque and start adjusting it by one tick a piece and that will give you a nice stable hover like this. And now you are ready for flight. Just make sure your caps lock's on because this thing's going to be really wanting to take off. And so if you get down too low like this, just angle yourself back up and you should be able to recover pretty quickly. Hopefully you have enjoyed kind of seeing how the horizontal and the vertical are configured and hopefully you can now start building your own little interesting crafts. Just remember if you're using the command seat to offset for your Kerbal because your Kerbal does increase your weight. If you want to go faster, then give it a little bit more throttle, give it some more lean, and watch where watch your, your pepper here and you should be able to get this a nice gentle forward velocity without losing too much on your vertical speed at the same time. And you should be able to creep up pretty good speeds. And this is basically how I do all my choppers. So hopefully you've learned a little bit and until the next one, I will catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Jatwa and I'm out. Peace.